took all the pieces that I had in my baggie and I've separated them. These are all my pieces without dots and then I have all my pieces with dots over here ready to be put on to my focus fabric. So I will take this on my box because I use it and I will position these pieces onto the background with glue. And so, um, and then after that, I will leave, make sure I leave enough space around it and attach them as I go. So here's a prime example of why I use arrows. This is my block, H6. This is my fabric, which is obviously intensely directional. And I don't have any arrows because I didn't know that when I was laying these out. So I will refer back to my book to see exactly where the colors are. And that's my color pattern. And then I will have to pay attention to each one of these. So I got, you know, these two on the on the right corner, these two on the left corner, these two on the bottom right corner, and then these two on the bottom left corner. And then I have to decide which way I want my lines to go. That doesn't look right. Uh, there we go. That looks right. And if I would have done this when I this, when I sorted the pieces, it would have been a lot easier. So I can decide whether I want my um, my lines to go sideways or um, up and down, and then I will put these on accordingly. So I will draw the arrows on each one of these pieces, and then put them on my. Fabric. Now the next decision I have is whether or not I want to put it with this line going through the middle like that or with the line going through the middle like that. Okay, so for my H6 block, I decided to go through the darker the darker part of my stripe. And then what I did is I took to make sure my arrows faced all the right direction and then I picked a spot on the design to line them up with. So in this case, I've, d I've lined them up with this square edge um, that was able to facilitate this design. So you've got this line up on the edge of the square, and then I the, the right angle I put on this corner. This way, it allows me to have a consistent design as I put my blocks on. And when I fold them over, it looks more consistent with my uh, fabric and the final block design. With my background pieces for H6, I made sure that I lined them up. You wanna make sure that you have plenty of fabric here or two seams. It's better to trim it down than to, there's no way to add it on. So what I'm gonna do now is now that I have all these pieces out, I'm going to rough cut and I'm just gonna snip it down with all this and then I'm going to stick it in my baggie and once I've got all these rough cut and stuck in my baggie or at this point right now I don't have to be around an ironing board or an iron or anything I am now at a point where I can sit in my chair and watch movies and work on this stuff this is why I get stuff done so quick because I spend time to do all these for all my blocks and I have done a bunch of these um, and all that kind of thing. I've got a big old pile here done and I'll sit here and I'll rough cut them out and I'll put them each in their baggies and then stick them in my project box and then I'm able to do block assemblies from there. The only other thing I'm going to say about block prep in this group of stuff is that this is my fussy cutting fabric and it's just the way the fabric is. And so I, what I did is I picked a spot that was consistent for each piece. And so then I lined it up here and I tried to make it as straight as possible, but I wanted to look at my shadows. And they're not perfect, like this one should probably go over this way a little bit more, but I'm not gonna fix it at this point. But I tried to get them as consistent as possible. And then these pieces are each on a rose, kind of like this, and then the triangles the point is here and the edge of the triangle is here and that's what each one of these are so that when I wrap it around I'm gonna have this flower on each one of those 
um, triangles and that's going to be my centerpiece so that's going to be kind of interesting looking so if you've got a fussy cutting fabric this is where it matters to do it but again all I'm going to do is rough cut these out and put them back in my baggies and then I'm ready for block assemblies